Get this thing started here. We're going to get it started, get it started. I want to thank everybody for joining the training today. Um, for sure, we're definitely going to uh, you know, get some gems so we can move forward and grow in our business. Today's training is on how to use websites, landing pages, and link tree in your digital marketing. Okay, so let me just go ahead and share my screen with you guys. A little something together for you all. First, let me know if you can hear me. Yes. All right, perfect, perfect. I appreciate that. Sure, we are good. And can you see my screen? Yes. All right, perfect. So let me make sure I can see what you all see. All right, so on the screen that you should see myself saying how to use um, websites, landing pages, and link tree in your digital marketing. I am Jess, your tech tutor and digital marketing coach. Okay, so um, I'm going to go on a little adventure. Um, I know that technology for many of you all is a process and a journey that we're all trying to grow. We have to keep up definitely in this industry. Um, technology is advancing, and so it's my passion um, and I'll share that with you guys um, to help you grow. I am a techie. I specialize in marketing for real estate agents and businesses. I love to help people who uh, really struggle with technology, and I'm known for creating simple strategies that deliver results by helping comfortable users get more done every day. It's about being productive. So we have those who struggle with technology. Um, and you just need some help with your strategies. I'm passionate about that. I love looking for different hacks, um, products, websites, things that we can use to help either make us faster, um, add quality uh, to what it is that we're putting out there when it comes to our digital marketing. Um, so speed, quality, and consistency are very important when it comes to digital marketing and when it comes to growing our business in that space. Okay, so I do have some questions, introduction questions I want to start off with. Um, so that we can start getting those wheels turning when it comes to um, our session today. All right. So I do want you all to let me know in the chat or unmute um, your mics and let me know currently, how do you market your business? How are you currently marketing your business? Let me put up chat. Let's see. Let's see. Instagram. All right. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Appreciate it. Mostly social media and word of mouth. All right, Curry. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Y'all don't be shy. Come on, want to know what it is that you are doing. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth. All right, Valerie, thank you. What are you doing currently? There's no wrong answer. Just the first thing that comes to mind, Laura. Appreciate it. Instagram. Love it. All right. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Thank you, Laverne. No, I cannot hear. Must be on my end. Yes, Brenda. Um, Check your audio settings. Make sure that you've connected there to the left on the audio. Instagram. All right. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Um, next, like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. I just want to hear from you guys where you're at currently. All right. The next question, where do you direct potential customers right. to learn? I'm sorry. All right. Well, where do you learn? Um, where do you currently direct potential customers to learn more about your business? You are your business. It might be the same um, thing for some of you all, but where are you directing them to learn more besides maybe the Instagram and social media, if there's any other place? Mm, got y'all thinking. I'm what was the that. question again? Okay, where do you direct potential customers to learn more about you or your business? Um, HR on website. Okay. Appreciate that, Laura. I don't, Joy. All right, sit down, social media. Yep, the website. Okay. Talk to me. Now, is that your personal website or is that um, some other Brooks and Davis website? Brooks what website? It's my, my HR webpage. Oh, not, I got yours, like Laura. I think someone else has said something. Um, so you're just sending them to HAR website. That's good. All right. Well, good. Good. I appreciate you all um, answering those questions for sure. And then lastly here, what are you trying to achieve with your marketing? What are you trying to achieve? When you're thinking about your marketing, when you are intentional about marketing, what is it that Hello? you ultimately want to achieve? 
Yeah, game more than audio right. on this thing. Okay, game more. Am I low? Is that? No, you sound fine. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so you want to increase customer your customer base, um, more business. All right, anything else? What we got? Leads, there we go. That's what I was waiting for, an exposure. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so ultimately, you guys, you are starting to think you are doing some things when it comes to your marketing. So I like that um, to hear that. And we're just gonna um, go forward and see how it is that we can maybe improve or some things that we can add when it comes to our tools and resources and our marketing, all right? So um, how to use websites in your digital marketing? As we know today, it's marketing. I mean, it's um, websites, landing pages, and link tree. That's what we'll be discussing. Websites, something that's very, um, oh, if you don't already know, websites are the center of all your marketing eff efforts. Okay. All your marketing efforts, no matter whether it's online or mm -hmm. offline, guys, um, it should sprout from and lead to your own stunning and informative web page. All right. And don't freak out. We're gonna, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm putting this out here. We're gonna go into some other um, maybe alternatives for those that maybe don't have a website currently. But I, this is um, definitely some ways that we can use websites in our digital marketing. All right, a website can be the first place where your potential customers interact with you and learn about your business, or it could be the last um, place that that your, your potential customer, or at that time, probably your customer um, ends up because they've either purchased something that you've advertised through email or through a Facebook ad, Instagram, all right? Or maybe your potential customer wants to receive your emails and that's the, um, why they visit your site to sign up. They might have typed their URL in, the, in their browser from a physical business card or after watching your YouTube, um, from the link that maybe you put in the description. So online, offline, um, you're wanting to direct them somewhere where it is that they can get some additional information. All right, any questions about websites? All right, and my question for you all, how many of you all have a website? If you have a website, I want you to go ahead and put a one in the chat. Yeah, website, put a one in the chat. All right. Okay. All right. When it comes to your website, um, let's talk about some goals. Does anyone, can anyone just sound off? I mean, you don't have to get in the chat, but just off of, and I think we kind of mentioned it, what are some goals that you have when it comes to your website? What is the reason that you're wanting to direct people there. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. When you say website, are you talking about whether our, is it a personal website or is it a HAR website or just whatever website we, we, we're on? Um, I'm gonna say your personal website right now, somewhere they can learn more about you specifically. So could that be a Facebook website as well or that's Facebook? Uh, I'm gonna say just sir. I'm gonna say your website. You could be your face. Actually, it could be. It could be your your Facebook. Okay. Or somewhere where you're directing. Where what are you using currently? So yes, your Facebook or. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. My Facebook is just personal. It's not realtor one. So that was a great question from her. Because I was getting ready to ask the same question. Because I just post all of my houses and stuff on my personal one, and it brings in a few leads that way, but I do need to get a realtor one. Okay, okay, okay. But I thought, I thought uh, Michael said something about using a personal website and just use it for both business and even though with my Facebook, I just added a Facebook business page too, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like all joined together. Got you. Well, yeah, you definitely can. And you may be referencing, you know, how they are, uh, 
it's your business, but you're still have a strategy behind showcasing some things that you do personally. So like maybe including your family or some thing activities that you're doing out in the community. It's not just strictly business or strictly houses and closings, but you do have sprinkles of your personal um, lifestyle as well. Okay. Right. But um, let's let's move here. I have three website marketing goals here that you want to. I have a question about websites. Yes. Yeah. And so um, how soon should a realtor get a website or when do, you, when do you think it's recommended to have your own uh, personal uh, besides, I guess, whatever social media or HAR outlets or resources that we use? Like, when do you, would you say it's like time for me to invest and start my own actual one? Actually, I would say when you have a strategy or when you've, okay. I mean, because, you don't have to have, there's people who just don't want a website. And, and my thing is that um, if you're gonna have a website, have a strategy behind it, make sure that you know what's the purpose. What are you trying to achieve by it? So like when, uh, for example, and it's, it's not directly related to realtors, but just because I work so closely with, with Mr. Davis and Brooks and Davis as far as our website, we wanted to make it user-friendly. It had, it wasn't, it couldn't just be a standard you know, website that you see a lot of people, a lot of brokers have, and it's doesn't have, it's not useful. It, um, our website, basically, you can literally do everything. Like, so you can fill out documents that, you know, your client can fill out contracts um, on your website. So you want to make sure that if you decide to do um, a website, that your strategy is together and that it's effective. And so that you're not just spending money just to, just to be there, you know, um, now, granted, websites, they do offer um, for some that added trust and um, what would you say? Yeah, that trust and that confidence, I guess. Or, what is the word that I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Credibility. You know, some, a lot of times when you're looking at, at a business for the first time, you may Google and try to see if they have a website where they can get some additional information and everything like that. But um, the idea is basically to find some way to showcase trust and um, consistency and a credibility. All right. Does that answer your question? I believe Laura, that was you. Yeah, that was great. I mean, it definitely does bring about more credibility. But here's my other, I guess, follow up question to that. Um, what? How are websites really? Do you know like how they're really working as far as for uh, realtors um, in the industry? Because I've heard mixed reviews. Um, some of the realtors that I've heard this from are well established and have you know a few years in the industry, like over ten years. So, would you happen to know anything behind that? The question was. Um... I mean, the website, like I said, brings about credibility and, you know, shows that you're a professional and, you know, kind of shows that you're, you're established in some ways. Um, right, right. So with, but with so much social media and social media outlets and so on and so yeah. forth, what, how big of a need is it to have a website nowadays? All right. So we're going to go into that, but um, it just depends again, you know, on your, on your strategy. Um, as far as your website, it can be a general place where you can have, you know, a lot of information. It's just a dump of information and things about yourself. But there are other tools and resources that I definitely can tell you that may be at this day and time more up to date, more modern and, and, and easier to um, direct your customer to versus having a website. And that's something that we're going to talk about here shortly. On, on, on that, okay? All right. So the three website marketing goals, okay? The first goal there would, um, that you wanna and awareness, all right? Someone mentioned that, you know, they want that exposure and that brand awareness. So your website is a great place to help people get familiar with your brand when they um, find your business online for the first time. They will get to know your business through the way that uh, your website represents your brand. Okay, so that would be one goal. Uh, maybe you just want to, like I say, have that presence. You want when they come there, you want 
people to see, okay, I have it together. My links work, you know, I am keeping it up to date and I have a strong brand. You know, I have a message and there's a, a, a purpose and an intent behind uh, this, the website that they visited. Right. Second is generating leads. All right, that should, that was one of the goals uh, that I saw when I asked the question, what is it you're looking to achieve with your website? All right, your website is a great place to generate leads. You can drive people to your website who are looking for the right business to fulfill their needs. Focus on internet lead generation. You'll focus on developing your website in a way that helps you capture those leads. So again, strategy and purpose. What is it, if you're gonna have a website, okay, is it effective? You know, do you have the things in place to help you reach the goal, to generate those leads, to bring that brand awareness? So you're gonna want something there um, some type of element to help generate those leads, whether that's a free uh, ebook or um, free consultation, something um, that will help capture their information um, to help you reach that goal of generating leads. And then lastly here, boost sales. That's definitely something we all want to do. It boost sales when it comes to our business. All right. So the last goal you um, can set Four is website earning your website earning conversions. All right, if you're focused on earnings and sales, and you want to implement elements that get leads to convert and shoot to choose your business and to choose your business. Okay. So I was getting website mixed up with Facebook and Instagram. So website is something different than it Facebook. Is, yeah. It is different. However, you can use still use your. Facebook, your Instagram to convert. And that's what we're going to talk about um, as well. Okay. Okay. Any questions about the three website marketing goals? I had a little tech tutor uh, tip there for you guys. Okay. You can create a free landing page or a simple website. Um, many, maybe don't know it, but through Google sites, um, Google does have a a platform where you can create a free landing page or a site. I'll just go ahead and click on that for you guys so you can just kind of take a look. A lot of us have, we already have um, a Google, I mean, a Gmail. So it's already connected. All you have to do is go to sites.google.com um, if you have an email address. And here's just something I was just playing around. If you playing around with just for this purpose, they have templates that you can use is it say that you wanted, you're, you're planning to do a, a workshop, I say a vision board meeting or a home buyer workshop. Um, you could go into Google, create a quick little landing page. It's pretty much drag and drop. Um, or you can use a template and just start replacing some information. Come in here, Houston Home Ownership Workshop, put Brooks and Davis or whatever that venue um, name is and just start replacing. Maybe you can use this where they have here if you were doing a seminar outlining the days of what's going on um, during that seminar and so forth. But this is what you can you would call the landing page. So on that landing page, can we do things like invite people out to the uh, pre-home buying event? Absolutely. And so that's definitely something that you could do is to come here. I mean, we have a page and I'll show you guys that. Um, for the pre-home buyer session, which is something that we offer here at Brooks and Davis Real Estate, but you can use ours or you can create your own so that you can start to filter the leads directly um, to the pre-home buyer session. So if people are filling out the form and they're interested in coming to the pre-home buyer session, you're able to see those leads directly. All right, so definitely consider using Google um, Sites as a, as a way of creating a landing page, you'll be able to put a contact um, form there. You have different blocks that you can use, text boxes, images, um, to be able to capture their information. So you have here, you know, if you were doing an event, you can have an RSVP here. Now, this is not the only site, of course, that you can create landing pages, and there's some different techniques that you, other resources that you can use that I'll share as, the, as we go forward. But definitely look into that one. All right, what is a landing page? Who knows? What's the purpose or what's the, uh, can you give me a quick summary or your thoughts on what a landing page is? Like the first page you come to on, on a site? Okay. 
What else? Anything you want to say? All right, Laverne, you are right. A landing page is a standalone web page that a person lands on after clicking through from an email, an ad, or a digital mark or other digital marketing. So, like, if you you put out some digital marketing, let's say like um, bring it on Facebook or Instagram, um, they something what something you put in your marketing on Instagram now is directing them to a landing page, okay? That one standalone page that's specifically talking about what it is that you mentioned in that post. So once they're on your landing page, users are engaged to take action, such as joining your list, registering for an event, or buying your product, okay? So um, example, hey, we're having this pre-home buyer session. Um, that's your what your post is geared around. And you tell people, hey, check, go to this link for more for more information or to learn more. All right. So they are now you've got them over to your landing page, but within that landing page, there's a call to action that you're wanting them to do. You're wanting them to join the list or RSVP to that event, whatever it is that you're speaking about on that post. Does that make sense? Any questions about that? A quick example of what I was speaking of when it comes to the pre-home buyer session or whatever event that it is that you may want to do. Um, I'm specifically talking about events here, but it can literally be anything that you would guide them to that landing page for. Maybe it was, like I said, for them to um, learn more about the home buying process. And maybe you have a booklet there that goes through the process of selling or buying a home. And let's take a look at this landing page here for the pre-home buyer session. We do the pre-home buyer session once a month. And in this session, um, buyers are able to come in and learn more about credit repair, debt elimination, and actually get an opportunity to speak with the realtor to just, you know, talk about all those myths that they may have had when it comes to home ownership. So we put the post out on Facebook or Instagram. We gave them a link that they can learn more information from. So here it is. Here's the landing page, the pre-home buyer session. We get you ready to buy. On this, now this page, this landing page is specifically for the pre-home buyer session. It's not your website. It's not talking about sellers and, and buyers or, you know, um, the market or anything else. It's specifically for this. So you can put a video there. Um, we have Margaret explaining um, why it is that you should attend the pre-home buyer session, all right? It's like a funnel. You're just basically trying to funnel people into this system and to, to get their contact information so that you can get business or to continue to follow up with them, all right? So you have more information that they can um, get from the pre-home buyer session. They can hear from Michael, I mean, Mr. Davis talking about um, the pre-home buyer session during our Monday night live. And then it gives them a call to action to reserve your spot, all right? So here at this page, now they can reserve their spot if they found interest in what it is that we've marketed it for. I mean, above, all right? So they come in, reserve their spot. Now this is just a Google form that you can create when it comes to, this itself can be a landing page. Um, really, I mean, with the Google Forms, you can actually put a video here if you wanted to. You can put a picture just to kind of give a summary of um, maybe the event, and then it go into where they can register. All right, um, let's go back. Here we have the flyer of the event. It gives them the day and the time of the next one, definitely. The next one is August 20th. All right, we have reviews here. So it's just continuous, it's all information about the pre-home buyer session. Here's someone who's attended the pre-home buyer session and they gave us a testimony. They, we have a written testimony in each section and you may have visited a landing page. I mean, I've seen some, they're extremely long. Sometimes it's like, almost like they're repeating the information, but on each stage of that, of that landing page, they're giving you a call to action, reserve your spot, reserve your spot. All right, here's a written testimony. And here's just some more information for them to, to read through. All right, because of the because the pre-home buyer session is not just about um, caters to the realtor, we have a lender coming in and a credit restoration uh, company, our credit repair representative come in. 
we add information about the loan lending process. And so if they needed to fill out um, a full loan application, they could do so here as well. So I just kind of gives them a summary of what this event is about. All right, and then bam, here's a way that you can actually gather their, con their information. So we have them, purpose of this landing page here, I got you, I see your question, Lakeisha. Um, the purpose of this page here, we want us to get them, we want to give them interest and we want them to RSVP. Um, and then here we have that they can put in their contact information below to learn more about the free home buyers consultation, if that's something that they're, they're interested in. So now we're gathering their contact info. All right, so how much for your, <laughs> I got you, we're going to talk about that. I have something there for you, Lakeisha, for sure. All right. Any questions about okay, the thanks. Hey, Yeah, uh, how this is set up, um, why we did it this way, and let me know if I'm not explaining something thoroughly enough or uh, for you if you have any questions. All right. Love it, love it. So that's what that landing page. You're trying to squeeze. You, you might hear um, landing page um, as a squeeze page. I believe they will say that, and I just say it's like they're just trying to squeeze information out. They're trying to get your information. We want to be able to contact you. We want you to subscribe. All right. Here's a tech tutor tip for you. Other platforms you use to create landing pages. Okay. You can use WordPress, um, Wix, Squarespace, or MailChimp. MailChimp is um, pretty easy as well. WordPress you might have. It might be a little learning curve there when it comes to WordPress. Wix pretty much a drag and drop where you can do a, um, your, your landing page there as well. So these are some resources and tools um, that you can use when it comes to creating your landing page. But like I said, it can be as simple as doing a Google form and I will show you how, why I say that, um, why I say that here shortly. If there's no other questions, I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I have a question. Seeing it is taking me longer to type the question. <laughs> <laughs> so can can we copy some things from the Brooks and Davis page or is that going to be part of the presentation? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There's some tips that I was definitely going to recommend for you all. You right. don't have to, like I said, you don't have to um, recreate everything. We have already done a lot of the heavy lifting and work for you when it comes to um, marketing. So like with our website, like I said, all this stuff is going to tie in as I go for, forward within the, um, the training. But um, our website is designed literally for you to have everything that you need. So if you're dealing with a seller, you can use that seller's page. You can use the pre-home um, buyer's uh, link and page in order to uh, filter and get business. Mm -hmm. To answer your question, Laverne? Yes, great, thank you. My pleasure. Why are landing pages used with websites? All right, um, so you have a website, but then, okay, why do I need a landing page? Or what's, I mean, hopefully by now, you know that, they, well, you might not know, but we we'll explain the difference here on um, why it is that you would need a landing page, like the fact that you may even have a website. All right, so the landing page converts more traffic because they are focused on one goal or call to action by providing information about a specific offer or item. It has limited navigation, um, and the simplicity keeps a visitor focused on the goal rather than being distracted by multiple links, taking them away from the page. Okay? So that would be one of the key reasons why a landing page would be useful despite the fact that you have um, a website. Like I said earlier, a website can be so big and massive. I mean, you have everything on there. And really, you know, as we know, the attention span just on social media, I think is like three seconds. And I think for websites are just when you're directing someone, it could be 15 seconds that you have. If it's too complex, too much information, you know, not user-friendly, people will get distracted. They will give up on the process because they can't find what it is they want. And that's why the landing page is so great because you're keeping them focused and it's directly um, about what it is that you posted, maybe somewhere else or an email that they received that, hey, I can go right here, get what I, the information I need and it'd be done. So that's the reason for the landing page. And it also has a specific purpose intent behind it. What are you trying to achieve? What are you trying to get when a person visits 
this landing page? Is it RSVP? Is it their contact information? What is it? All right. Any questions about the landing page and why it's used the way that it is? All right. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Linktree. All right. That's something that we're talking about in this training. So Linktree is a free digital marketing tool that allows you to create actually a landing page with links to share your entire online content using one link. OK, whether that page um, is on your whether that's a page on your website, social media platform or an embedded video. OK, you can use Linktree as a landing page. All right. Now, um, how many of you have heard of link in bio? You know, hey, visit my link in bio. Go ahead and put yes in the chat for me or. Uh... Have you, if you've heard that phrase? Oop, I have Angel. All right, Laverne said no. All right, okay. Well, link in bio, um, time that you definitely will see when it comes to Instagram, um, for sure, or in really a lot of, I would say Instagram a lot more than some of the others, um, but when you say link in bio, it is a call to action designed to drive traffic from your profile page to other social media platforms or landing pages. Okay, so if you're on Instagram, you may, because Instagram is has re restricted its users from putting in multiple websites, um, they have, Linktree is basically a site that is used that they can put it in the, the bio of their, 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 their page so that they can direct their, their customers or potential customers to, and they can actually get exposure to, to not just their website, but to multiple things that, that content and multiple things that you offer. All right. Um, so you may hear someone say, hey, click the link in bio to get more information. More than likely, that means that they either have a website or either that they have a link tree that they're using. All right. So today we're gonna to just talk about what is a link tree and how it is that we can um, use it. I'm gonna take you through you know, how it is that you can build that and show you share a little bit more on that. All right, link tree is a single link that you can use to connect your audience to everything you um, that you are, everything that you do, everything that you care about. It enables you to share many links in one so your followers, visitors, and customers can find everything they're looking for in one place. Add it to your bio. Um, link on social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram, included in other your email signature as well. All right, so it's not just limited to Instagram, but just so like literally you can use a link tree. If anyone that you're you're because you don't maybe have a website or again you're trying to keep people focused um, on just specific things, you can be out in the community and just say, hey, visit my link tree, and it'll take them to everything that they need. Put it in your email signature. Um, and even display it as a QR code um, to get offline audiences connected with you online. How many have, of you ha all have a link tree? Go ahead and put a two in the chat for me if you have currently have a link tree. Two, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a great training here to, uh, <laughs> to get you all connected to have something there for you um, so you can have a link in the bio or um, something that you can hand out to people so they can learn more about you and what it is that you do. Now, there are some alternatives. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, you will have one. We're gonna get you right. All right you will have a, a link tree, it's perfect. But now there are some alternatives to link tree. Now you have a link in, um, link in bio. Um, now that later is a, app or website you can use to actually schedule your posts um, but they, and they offer this service, a link in bio service. So you check them out, contact in bio, Beacons AI. Um, that's a pretty cool one. I see that a lot of influencers who are influencer focused <laughs> use Beacons. And then you have link in bio, you have link bio and campsite. Now there are tons, y'all, tons, tons, tons of um, 
Linktree alternative. So you can simply, you can Google it if you just don't want Linktree. I use Linktree, I like Linktree. But um, if you wanna kind of see what's out there, then just type in Linktree alternatives in Google or link in bio platforms um, will give you kind of an idea of some other uh, tools that you can use for this purpose. Any questions about, or, hey, do any of you all use any of the other ones? If not, then um, you, can, you can use these as well. Let me know in the chat though, if you are familiar with any of them. All right. All right, let me give you all some examples of Linktree. Okay. Um, first, I'm gonna show you from a viewer's perspective, and then we'll go behind the scenes a little bit on how it is that, you know, I set it up, um, how it is that you can set up some of the things that you can do when it comes to Linktree. Let's see the first one. We'll take a look. I have both on here twice. Mistake. Let's look at the Brooks and Davis real estate firm. Now, this is our orientation Linktree, but it's one that it's one that you receive during orientation. But if you've been with the uh, company, you know that we have a lot of information. We have we have a lot of links. Um, and so I created this link tree basically because for those who come through orientation, it can be really simple where they can just go step by step to learn what it is that we offer with all the programs that we have um, for our agents. So here's a new one and hopefully I'm glad I have you guys here. Here are two new uh, links that I've added to our um, link tree so that you have the opportunity to share your experience um, of Brooks and Davis. So we want to hear from you. We want you to be able to share your experience. Uh, so we want a testimony, you know, how has it been here with Brooks and Davis? So this one right here, it allows that agent or customer or client, any anyone who wants to leave a testimony to click on that first part of Linktree. And now here it is, it's directed them to video ads, which is a place that they can record a video or a text message or send a text on their experience with Brooks and Davis. All right, and you can do the same thing with your with your um with your business. You know, hey, look, I, I would love to have a testimony from you on how it is that you know your experience of working with me. So um if you could just go visit my link tree real quick. It's, it's only one link and, and and go ahead and share your experience. Boom. All right. Something that we offer um to our agents is the opportunity to have QA with Mr. Davis on Monday night live. And something that we want to be able to do is offer them opportunity to ask questions. And so I created this link here to be able to direct them to, again, the video ads to where now they can ask questions specifically, or you all, I'm saying they, but you all, they can ask questions um, pertaining to real estate with this platform, with this tool. So anything that's, any real estate related question that you may have, or maybe that you think that a new agent or a client would be interested in, if you can come in here, record a video um, question, we definitely would love that, or an audio question or a text question. And then Mr. Davis will at, answer that on the next Monday Night Live um, or a future episode. All right. And it just goes down. I mean, some of you all from it, we have our Brooks and Davis Real Estate School. You wanna you know, send people where they can get connected to your group me. I would encourage everybody to go take a look at this website. I mean, this link tree, but it kind of gives you an idea. You have your social media um, icons here to where people can di get directed. If they, maybe they saw you on Instagram, but they see when they come to your link tree, like, oh, okay, she has a Facebook or he has a Facebook. And so it'll direct them straight to their face, the Facebook page. Same here, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, email. I believe this here is the app. Um, this is the Apple store, Google store. And then you can also, so have it to where people can make payments. Okay, so maybe you um, need them to submit an application fee or whatever it is that um, you're doing. They can you can put that link there for them to make a payment. So shoot, yeah, I mean, like for those that um, work with renters and they want you all want them to uh, submit their information to us for background checks or make a payment. You can have that. PayPal link for Brooks and Davis um, on your link tree and say, hey, go here and make a payment real quick. And so we can get your application, um, your background checks. 
So would you copy and paste this link to them or that one particular link that you're trying to send them to? How would you send it to them to say, for instance, make a payment or a rent? Um, how okay. would you put this page? Yeah, so for me, like, um, for, so for them to make a payment to say, hey, go to this, this you would give them the link tree site. Okay. Yeah. You just give it there and say, hey, at the top there, go ahead and just click the payment. You know, you can make it easier. So for someone that maybe not look at this and say, oh, this is where I make payment, mm -hmm. um, you could actually put right here at the top, here, pay for your rental application, you know, or, or oh, for your right. background check. And so they can come here and then it would take them to the PayPal or wherever it is. Okay. That you're receiving the, the payments. Okay. This is one example uh, that you can use that I have. And then let's go to Coach Mike's, his, uh, his link tree. All right. Um, so if somebody visits, we put out Monday Night Live video recap on Instagram. And someone's like, man, that's some good information. They're interested in the Monday Night Live, but they, and they have a question. And so in that text on Instagram, we said, hey, um, ask your question, head over to this link um, to submit your questions, and boom. Again, there's a Monday Night Live Q&A. Here goes the pre-home buyer session link. All right. Taking them to the, the landing page to learn more about the pre-home buyer session. So whatever it is that you're advertising on that social media platform or wherever you're, you're marketing, you can direct them back here for several landing pages so they can see specifically. Um, you can put videos on here. So we have a website, we have a, a digital marketing web series called Black and Real Estate, something that we've been working on. And so what I've done is just put our YouTube playlist here. So now people can actually watch the videos within the link tree. And if they wanted to, they can see the playlist. So maybe you have a, a video bio of yourself um, that you want, want to share a link to your link tree to let people know a little bit more to actually hear from you um, specifically about something. All right, here's something. Um, so click if you're already a licensed realtor. Um, this here takes them to the website. So this is a reason why maybe you, even if you had a website, how you can utilize it even within your link tree, just to keep people focused on what it is that they need, specifically need. So an, an agent, you know, they don't need to come here and maybe be distracted with the buyers and sellers page. They can, you can put the link from your website specifically for the page, which essentially is almost like a landing page um, for those who are already licensed. All right, and this is specifically for that new, for that agent. So though, you know, it's still taking the website and they can start looking around at least for the first, within first, the first 15 seconds, they've been directed somewhere that's gonna give them what they need. All right. and it just goes down, um, click if you're not licensed realtor and you're interested in a career in real estate, um, then now that's why I said you can take a Google form uh, in, in Google and use it as a landing page. And so you're still providing them information. Um, see the practical side of real estate. Now you're teaching them how it is that they can get their license. And you're capturing their information. Because that's the point. That's the purpose. That's what we want to do. We want them. We want to get the information, we want to be able to follow up with them, we want to educate them, give them information on how it is that they can achieve what it is that they're directly wanting to do. All right, let me take you behind the scenes real quick. Any questions about the preview or the viewer section of the link tree? All 
I'm going to take you, let's see. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to have to uh, log in here. I'm going to go on Mike's, uh, Richard Davis's website, his link tree again, because there are some things that you don't see, you didn't see when we clicked on it. It's going to be good for you to see how you can go about doing it. All right, so here we are behind the scenes. This is not the setup of your account or anything. This is actually once you've actually set up your account and now you're starting to add your links uh, to your link tree. All right. All right, so you have a preview. You can, when you get into your dashboard and your back office of Linktree, you can see um, a preview of everything that is you're doing on the right, okay? Uh, the Monday night video ask, uh, you put whatever it is, so you, you put that website there and then you title it and then it's gonna show up here to the right. You can click it on and you can click it off. So the good thing about Linktree um, and using it as somewhat like a landing page is that you don't have to worry about the hassle like a website of having to get back with your designer if you didn't design it yourself to update information. You can literally just take off and put on updates and information that's relevant to your business right now or, or new programs or new things that you want to offer to your clients. Okay. Um, the pre home buyer session, you can click it on and off. But here are some, I mean, I'm actually, I'm going to. I'm going to click off on all these. Here. You see how it's changing over there off to the right? All right, so I've literally taken all of his links off. Now, prior to us um, shifting and uh, really focusing on like, you know, agent development, um, there was a push and a drive for like educating our sellers and, and buyers and we use this link tree for that. So here are some old links that we aren't currently using, but something that you may wanna consider using when it comes to your real estate business. Um, here's one, I'm not sure if it still works, it says click to get um, for great services we offer people who want to buy. Okay, so let's activate that one and let's see what it's about. It says click to, um, for great services we offer people who want to buy a home. And so when you click on that, well, he had a JPEG. It's just a picture that he had loaded up into Google Drive. So you can literally take a Google Drive link and put it as a link tree, all right? And now he's just directly telling people what it is that we offer a lot, you know, to someone who's looking to buy. Same here, here's an educational booklet. Um, click to get our consumer education booklet, all right? Maybe you have something that says, I believe for people, this is for people who wanna sell their home. Online five um, and flip, html5.com, that's a place where you can actually make a flip book to offer um, as an educational tool for your clients or potential customer. And boom, all you had to do was just take that link right there, go back into your link tree, put it there, title it in a way that when you give someone your link tree, that they're able to recognize it. Or they're able to, because some people, they may come there for one reason, but then they see something that resonates with them. And they just continue to look. You've got an educational booklet. Okay, here we have um, quick information about our rent to own, or, I mean, our rent to, <laughs> rent with the right to purchase uh, program, okay? This is Home Partners. We've done a few trainings um, with Home Partners. But we white labeled that program um, as a right to purchase program. So I think Home Partners has its Home Partners rent to own or, or right to, I think they have a lease. I forgot what they call theirs, but we have our right to, we call it the right to purchase program. And then this is why, again, Google can be used, Google Forms can be used as a landing page. Chica and I, we went out to the property, recorded this 
um, video talks about the right to purchase program specifically. You have a nice little image there. And now you're just getting all the information that you want. What property are you interested in? Boom. What's your first, last name? You're getting all the contact information. So if there's programs if there, um, that you want to showcase and highlight in your business and want to be able to provide that information or gather, um, use it as a source to um, get contact information, you can. And again, Laverne, yes, you could use like uh, the right to purchase video on YouTube or get, get this, put it on your uh, landing page and just use that as a way for you to actually get those leads. Same thing with um, on our website, when it comes to buyers and sellers, when, you wanting, when you're wanting them to maybe uh, fill out the, the paperwork um, to be hired, you can take that link and say, hey, complete your, um, your documents. I'm sorry, guys, I, I got distracted here. There's my page. You can complete those um, documents via DocuSign by just going to this, uh, this link in my link tree. Any questions? Um, okay, here we have our for sale by owner Facebook page. I mean, you literally can put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, like if you're interested in selling your home, just put the link. This one doesn't work anymore, um, but again, we aren't using it. I mean, so I'm gonna go ahead and unclick and it's that simple, guys. Any questions? So to actually start the link in, I mean, the link page, how do you do that again? You just go to Google, you said, and then you hit um, link page or whatever link, what is it called? Uh, huh? Question. You actually start using this. I mean, how do you actually put it on your page, your landing page? You just type in uh, link tree. Yes. So you're going to go to link tree. Start link tree. Mm -hmm. You just go to link tree and then you're going to, you're going to create an account. With link tree. With link tree. Okay. Okay. That's where I was confused. Yeah. No, thanks for the question. Yes. You're going to create a, an account with Linktree in order to be able to do this, in order to be able to add your, your links. Now, you know, you, you have to, if you don't have a landing page or if you not, don't have a Google form or something, then, then, then you probably would need to start there. You need to have a link to be able to put into Linktree first. Okay, have a, a landing page first and then add link tree to it. Right, right. Now, you use someone else's landing page. Like I said, you could use our pre-home buyers link, you know, and that could be a landing page to put on your link tree. Um, so, you know, okay. use stuff that you currently have, you know, and then you can start to build your personal landing pages as you need to for the things that you need. Okay, thanks. My pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. All right, let's go back to this. Um, so I've just put all his links back on. Um, real quickly before I divert, since we're behind the scenes, you have the option of changing the appearance when you go in here um, as well, to change the backgrounds, your text. All of that is accessible with Linktree. Now there are, now this is a free version. So if you would, there are some pro features that you can use um, when it comes to like integration, um, having, when you do receive their contact information and having it go automatically maybe to a CRM. I mean, it's, it's a pretty uh, useful tool for sure, but you can get a lot accomplished free, but you don't have to um, join the pro. But again, behind the scenes, I mean, you can, another good thing about Linktree is that it does give you um, basic analytics. So you can actually see how many people are clicking on your link. It doesn't show you exactly where they're going, but you do get an idea. That's, that's a pro feature, but you do get an idea. Okay, well, people are at least looking at it, you know, and that I am able to get people to, to come to the link at least, all right? So you'll see that and you'll be able to analyze your analytics from there. All 
All right, let's move on here. So those are some link tree examples. What are some ideas? Um, I've kind of showed you all. What are some ideas that you think that you would, uh, would use link tree for? What are some of the links that you would add on your personal link tree? Already covered, but just sound off for me. Put it in the chat. For buyers to sign on your page, leads people to sign, just whoever you're working with to sign up on your page. Okay. And if they wanted more information about buying or selling a house, I would link those uh, little booklets or that those little videos that you have. Yeah. Uh, Brooks and Davis to my page. Okay. Good, yeah, good. Yeah. You can also, I guess, um, link your bio. So when they come in, they can listen to your bio via a video. Mm -hmm. All right, good. For you. Maybe ask them a if they had a question that they wanted to be answered on my page. I don't know, have a question and answer. Or okay. Maybe. Okay, like a place where they can submit their questions as well. Yeah, they can submit their questions. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's some link ideas for Linktree. I just went off the top of head there. You know, put your website. You can put a new client questionnaire. You can go into Google Forms or Jot Forms and just have a questionnaire that you you to gather uh, maybe it's, uh, more detailed information that you want from a buyer. You know, what's the purpose of you? What's the reason behind you moving? It's almost like yeah, it's just a questionnaire. So you have someone who's interested in buying, to, hey, fill out this, or you're getting ready to meet with them for a consultation, hey, head over here to this, um, my link tree, fill out that uh, first tab, the questionnaire that I need before we, before we meet. Um, and that's there for them. You can put a link for them to schedule a consultation with you or buyer or seller consultation. So you could use an app or a tool resource like Calendly or, uh, what is it, uh, 10 to 8, to so create a scheduling link so that people can come to your link tree and actually book a consultation with you. All right. Your social media links, as I showed you at the top there, you can either put them like on our um, orientation link. I have the icons at the top, but I also have on the tabs that are itemized, hey, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. So for those who just, it doesn't that connect that, oh, this is an icon for that, at least they can read what that you know, title or that tab is about. All right, so, all right, we have social media link, okay, books, your blogs, your products, your services, all of that can be added to your link tree. So maybe you wrote a book, you know, that's, it's always, you know, it's not a bad thing to have a product. Um, that you can offer, or you, you're starting a blog to educate your, your audience and you want people to su subscribe or just have offer some type of value, add that to your link tree. Your personal video, bio lifestyle video, any affiliate links. So like um, maybe you have a relationship with a company that does solar or something like that and, you know, or, or uh, security. What is that? Home security, and you you get a portion um, based off of the referrals that you that you make. Then you can put that affiliate link there in your uh, link tree. So if anyone's interested in that service or that product, then you can get a little kickback. Event registrations and property listings. So if you just had a new listing, or maybe you posted a picture of your new listing on Facebook or Instagram or that you wanna, you actually have a listing page, um, you could put that there on Linktree and say, hey, head over to my Linktree to get more information about this property. Now, you don't have to go on HAR and find it or type in the address in Google. They didn't have to do is just click the link and buy a, not only get the information about the property listing, but also find out some additional information about you and what it is that you do and offer. is the, it for me. I definitely want you all to utilize my beginning stage of Linktree. Um, so I'm offering you guys a free 30-minute session or, or tutoring session. I'm sure if you're definitely interested, I, I recommend 
and would love for you guys to come go over to the link tree and fill out the contact information just to let me know who's all interested in this free um, tutoring session and just tell me what it is that you need or what it is that you would like to focus on in that session um, so that we can get you going um, when it comes to your landing page websites or uh, your link tree, okay, or anything, anything else. So where would you, you would tutor this online or what? Yes. Coming to the office or what? Yeah, so I'll con once you fill out the information, something that you're interested in, I'll connect with you and then we can determine from there what would be, be the best um, format for our session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you have any questions, I definitely thank you, um, you all for sitting through this, this training. I, I hope that it was definitely valuable for you. And if it was, I would love to hear your feedback and let me know. And um, if you have any questions, um, please sound off now, put them in the chat. Let's talk about it. Can you um, share the link into your... Yeah. To do yeah, yeah. Do yeah, I got you. Let me put that in the chat there um, for you guys. You. My pleasure. We cannot fill it out now. Can we fill it out now? The 30-minute tutoring session. I'm hitting yes. it. It's not doing anything. So it's not letting you put the name in there? Clicking. I mean, it's not allowing. I'm clicking it, but it's not going to the second page or whatever. I don't know. Does anyone else it's have not. a Don't you have to put it in the chat in order to click? Yes, yeah, so I put it in the chat. Did you all click on that link? Oh, I didn't see it in the chat. I don't see it in the chat either. I just see it on the... the oh, the, you know why? Because I just texted to Lakeisha. I'm sorry. She had oh. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Okay, so you're going to put it in the chat. Right. Awesome. It's in there now. She should have popped up. Okay, yeah. 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 All right, Great perfect. information. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Great. Thanks. Any, any further questions? No, I'm, this is some good you. information. Yes. You covered a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great, great. Jess, you did an excellent job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right, so look, now none of y'all have any excuse. When y'all doing y'all coaching sessions with me, I'm going to be like, hey, man, pull up y'all. <laughs> I need to see what y'all looking like digitally. Oh, there you go. It's <laughs> um, all to make it better. You hear them just talking about, oh. That's one way to hold us accountable, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, look, y'all make sure y'all take advantage of the free 30-minute tutoring session, right? Because sure. you guys have access, you know, that's another layer of support now, right? You have your coaching session with me. You know, you still have, you know, you're connected with your mentor. Now you can connect with Jess to refine how you're looking digitally. I mean, resetting y'all up for success. Absolutely. We appreciate it too. Thank you. <laughs> for sure, yeah, for sure. Excellent, excellent job. Excellent job, Jess. Well, well, it's a wrap for me. If no other questions, y'all get in that link. You know, let me know um, your interest in which um, what you need, and then I will connect with everyone, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Sir. So look, guys, we have our um, event tomorrow with uh, Chantel Prolick, and uh, she's coming to talk about time management. So time management organization. That's one of the uh, X in your coaching, the one of the very first things that we touch in the in the new and improved masterpiece one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, one of the things that we touch is time management and organization. So uh, tomorrow is going to be a great introduction. You'll be able to pull some good uh, strategies and resources and techniques that we'll probably be utilizing to help get you organized uh, because that's one of the first things that we got to, that, that, that really is foundation. Right. If you're going to have success as a realtor, you have got to be organized. You have got to maximize how you use your time uh, and have everything set up in such a way to where you um, to where you um, can be efficient. So make sure you guys come tomorrow. Uh, we will have food. Food. We have food, Shay. All right. So come tomorrow. Um, if you want food, you got to come in person. If not, it will be simulcast on Zoom. Um, make sure you participate. 
um, because this is going to be some great information for you to become a more skilled real estate professional. Uh, and when you become a more skilled real estate professional, what it does is it helps you decrease that window of time that it takes from when you're doing activities to help build your business or working with clients and stuff on the contract. It decreases that window uh, when converting those type of activities into a harvest, which is the commission you're getting paid. Becoming a more skilled agent helps you decrease the window, you get your money faster. Um, with that being said, do y'all have any questions for me before I let y'all go? That's all right, I can hear. Nope, nope. Nope. All right, y'all enjoy your day, and we will see y'all tomorrow. All right, thanks for y'all's petition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right, have a nice day, guys.